so we'll quickly talk about complex numbers then we are interested in the power power of a, of a complex power of a complex number so let's take it for instance uh, it's normally represented by i and we have the power two so we have um, i to the power zero now i to the power zero is just one because any number to the to the power zero is one then we have i to the power one is just one then we have i to the power two i to the power two is just negative one now i to the power three is just i to the power two times i to the power one so we have i to the power two here is negative one times i to the power one is just one so we have negative we have i to the power one so it's just i i to the power one so we have i to the power of this we have negative i now i to the power four is just negative i to the power two times i to the power two i to the power two is just negative one times negative one now we have one so um now in complex numbers we are only interested in the um in these four values so we have um Let's take note of this. Yeah, I to the power one is just I to the power one as for me is just I. Now I to the power two is just negative one. I to the power three is just negative I. And also uh, I to the power four. I to the power four is just one. So we are only interested in this. So yeah. we have to take note. Take note of this. Okay. Okay. So let's take an example. An example. So an example. Let's look at I to the power five. So I to the power five. You can still break it down as I to the power. You can break it down as. Uh, but before that, what you can do is to um, always divide the always divide the power by four. So you always always divide the power by four. So um, an example is we have high to the power four. Is this i to the power 5 divided by 4? That's an example. Okay. You divide it by 4, then we have our answer to 5 divided by 4 is just 1 with a remainder, remainder of 1. That's the first point. And the second point is to uh, take note of the remainder. This session we are only interested interested in the only interested in the remainder so we have i to the power 4 5 which is i to the power 5 divided by 4 and we have our answer to be 1 a remainder of 1 then we have i to the power 1 so i to the power your remainder so the remainder here is one and the remainder remainder here is one so it is i to the power one then we have our answer to be yes i then another example is that we have i to the power six so the same to divide six divided by four we have our answer to be one remainder of two so i to the power six is just i to the power two we are only interested in the remainder. So 
take note of the remainder interested in the remainder so in this case we are only interested in the remainder so we have a remainder of two and if we come back to the chart i to the power two is just negative one so negative one so in this in this case all what you have to know all what you have to know is just the um it's just the four numbers so you just have to know uh, the i negative one negative i and one these four numbers this is just i to the power one i to the power two i to the power three and i to the power four so this this corresponds to i i to the power is just i i to the power 2 is just negative 1 i to the power 3 is just negative i and i to the power 4 is just 1 now all we can do with the i to the power 6 we can still count the number so we have i to the power so let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's here that's why i to the power 6 is just negative 1 so we can still count 1 2 3 4 5 6 the same thing with the i to the power 5 i to the power 5 i to the power 5 we had i so let's check 1 2 3 4 5 so i corresponding to that so you can still pick it now let's take an example so take an example now we have been given um, i we have to evaluate the following powers of i so i to the power 1 of 5 what we can do is to 105 is that always divide the power by 4 so what we have to do is to divide it by 4 and we have uh, the answer to be 26 a remainder of 1 so we have a remainder of 1 so i to the power 1 it is it is i so therefore i to the power 105 is just is equal to negative negative i so therefore i to the power 975 is equal to i to the power 2 which is negative i then we have we have our c our c our c says can try your answer on this see so you can try your answer okay we have so 42 here divided by 4 is just 10 the remainder of 2 so we have i to the power 2 being equal now i to the power 2 is just negative 1 i to the power 2 is negative 1 so we have i to the power 2 being negative 1 so we have so you can still so take note This one corresponds.